2012 is an interesting year for snowmobiling. Skidoo doesn't have any changes to the chassis or motors for the XP. However, they do have an all new and very impressive rear suspension called the R-Motion that's extremely user friendly. Up front, let's get the facts straight. This is an XP chassis with an 800 E-Tech and some cool new colors and flashy graphics. For the most part, from the gas tank forward, it's a carbon copy of past year's XPs. This isn't a bad thing as the XP has become one of my favorite sleds to rail any trail, but the big news for 2012 is focused on the rear end. The MXZX and MXZX RS are the only two sleds that you can get our motion on in 2012. Both are available with the 800 or 600 E-Tech, but you can only get your paws on one if you ordered early in the spring. Spring ordering isn't adopted by all buyers, so those who want the latest and greatest will experience disappointment quickly if they didn't make a decision in the spring. While this may be a bit of an oversight by Skidoo, you can be pretty certain in-season models for 2013 will feature the R-Motion. So let's get down to the brass tacks. What is an R-Motion, and what's it going to do for you that an SC5 or other competitive skid frame can't? Well, over the next few minutes, I'm not only going to tell you, I'm going to show you firsthand. In literal terms, delivering a full rising rate in skid suspension is not possible. However, the R-Motion delivers the next best thing with a true rising rate rear shock. Inherent to their design, torsion springs cannot deliver a rising rate response. This is why the Polaris Rush is able to claim its ProRide suspension delivers true rising rate response. Both the shock and spring are located outside of the skid and do not use torsion springs. If you're not familiar with rear suspension technology in a snowmobile, let me give you a quick crash course about what rising rate means in terms of the rear arm shock on a snowmobile suspension skid frame. As a typical in-skid suspension moves through its travel, the shocks and springs compress at a falling rate. This means the further the skid moves into its travel, the less the shocks move. A rising rate suspension actually increases and speeds up the shock travel the further the skid frame travels into the tunnel. This is due to the action of the accelerator cam linked to the rear arm shock. Its geometric action allows the rear shock to speed up as the suspension travels further into the tunnel. Rising rate is desirable because of its inherent nature to resist bottoming. Using more shock travel the further the suspension strokes means that you're going to have increased dampening, increased resistance to bottoming, and still maintain a plush ride through the small bumps. In the real world, you're going to notice the R-Motion's ability to eat bumps, jigglers, and square edge hits. In small chop, the skid is completely plush and compliant and outperforms the SC5. In harsher and bigger bumps, our motion delivers an impressive bottomless feel that is plush but completely in control. Most skid frames tend to feel harsh and choppy when the skid approaches full stroke. Our motion is settled and calm with no violent rebounding or kicking, common to most in skid suspensions. This new suspension is even more impressive, featuring optional external adjustment of the rear arm shock, compression dampening, and spring preload using these Ultra Trick dial adjust knobs. Old school clicker knobs get jammed with snow while riding and can be hard to find or work with out on the trail. These new external adjusters mean you can tune your suspension to the current riding condition without tools in seconds. I found the ability to tailor my ride incredible. We all know every trail is not created or groomed equal. When you come upon a rough rutted trail, a 30 second adjustment will alter your sled's performance, completely smoothing out the worst sections you could possibly imagine. A compression clicker isn't exactly a breakthrough, but an external hydraulic preload adjuster is, and it allows you to take your ride from ultra plush to ditch banger in seconds. It's common knowledge that the majority of riders don't use their adjustable shocks, or worse yet, they don't know what they're doing when they start to click, crank, and turn. If they set it up wrong, the chances of fixing it when the snow is packed in the skid frame are slim to none. Our motion is available without the tunnel mounted adjusters. However, for the four pounds of weight and reasonable cost, you should seriously consider checking this box when you order. If you don't, you won't have the opportunity to upgrade later. For 2012, there's a lot of big news in the industry, and while the R-Motion may be overshadowed by what other manufacturers are bringing to the table, it does bring a totally new level of adjustability and comfort to an already stellar ride.